So it sounds like this uses speech recognition. When I use other speech recognition systems, they don't always work. How can we be sure your technology really works? That's right. When people think about speech recognition technology, um, they often draw on their experiences when they're on the telephone and they've called the bank or the cinema and they interact with this um, automated system which sometimes doesn't understand what they're saying. Um, but our system, it shares some similarities with those systems, but there are also some differences. So in terms of the similarities, we have the same uh, underlying statistical modeling for speech recognition. We use um, HMMs or hidden Markov models. Um, but the differences are that um, we have a system which is optimized for a particular purpose, uh, which is uh, evaluation of English language proficiency. Um, and to that end, we have made some um, specific and uh, patented optimizations to our speech recognizers. Uh, one of those is the fact that we develop two kinds of acoustic models. We develop acoustic models for native speakers so that we can understand uh, how native speakers respond. Uh, but then we have acoustic models for non-native speakers as well. And this means that we have a system which is very forgiving of non-native speaker mispronunciations. Uh, for example, if a, a learner of the language wants to say umbrella, but they say umbrella, um, the, uh, our recognition system will understand that they've attempted to say the word umbrella and credit their uh, vocabulary score accordingly. Uh, but it will also recognize that they've mispronounced that word and it will debit their pronunciation score accordingly. So we have a system that's forgiving of errors uh, in terms of recognition, um, but it also recognizes when an error has been made and that feeds into the score, the appropriate score. Uh, so that's one difference. The other difference is the way we've uh, implemented our recognition technology. It, it sits within an entire testing system. Um, and you can't really separate it from all the other um, controls that are going on. For example, we develop our items uh, knowing what the system is capable of in terms of recognition. We make sure that we vary the item types. And the whole test taking experience is guided towards eliciting lots of interactions from the test taker, asking them more and more questions, and gradually over the course of a test, focusing in on their language proficiency. Um, so in summary, th the underlying uh, recognition technology shares some similarities, but that's embedded in a, a sophisticated and specialized testing system, which is designed to pinpoint a test taker's language proficiency score. <laughs>